One of the biggest problems that we still face is the source of financial crises. Why is it that financial systems remain fragile and occasionally, and without warning it would seem, collapse? What are the amplification mechanisms and how is it that it then creates the problems that we see? We look and study previous financial crises most recently at the one in 2007 and 2009, and you see, ask yourself, why did the financial systems collapse and then the economies follow them? And then you can also see cases like the most recent one with the pandemic where there was no financial crisis. And by looking at those together, you get some idea of what it might be that would trigger them and what sorts of structures in the financial system are going to be more or less resilient. And then are there ways that you can help make them more robust? The best way to think about the anatomy of a financial crisis is in four or five steps. The first step is that there's a change in the price of risk. The price of risk suddenly goes up because people's attitudes towards risk change. The second step is that as a consequence of those changes in attitudes, things that they thought to be safe, they realize aren't safe after all. And people who they thought they could trust, they realize they can't trust anymore. So that leads to the third step where they suddenly look for things that are safe and they look for people who they can trust. The fourth step then is that this starts to spread. And as this spreads, there are runs on banks. Those runs can turn into panics and credit to the real economy then dries up. And then as the economy starts to collapse, people's attitudes towards risk, then they become even less willing to take on risk and you get a, a, a feedback that is um, that's self-reinforcing. So what we have to do is we have to look for places in the economy, in the financial system, where there are safe assets that might suddenly become questioned and where there are counterparties or institutions that are trusted where people might lose their trust. Then you can dramatically reduce the likelihood of a, of a crisis.